upstairs is breathing down my neck and the people waiting they wait so viciously Hello, beautiful humans of the internet. I am Kenzie B, aka your internet auntie, aka your best friend that goes into hiding for months on end and doesn't say anything to anyone. When I tell you guys I've tried to record a video for the last five months, um, and it just hasn't worked out, and that's okay because life, life, um, life is still life in. Your girl still unemployed, UX-wise, um, just freelancing as I can. Fingers crossed for something full-time soon. If you're watching this and you recruit in New York, let me know. But yeah, I mean, I've just really missed making content and being creative, and I feel like I've gotten into my own personal slump with things. Definitely wanted to use my own camera microphone, but cable broke and I'm too lazy to fix it or buy a new one so we get the nice quality microphone. I hope that this is what you all like in content. Content has always been a hobby of mine and creating content has always been a hobby of mine. I just haven't been in the right headspace to do so and a big part of that was my physical space and that gets us into today. So for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram that haven't been keeping up with the Kenzie, I live in my boyfriend's apartment. Um, I've been living with him for the majority of our relationship and we're looking to move. We have to wait for the lease to be over. We're also trying to leave the state. When you live with someone, especially when you move into their space, it can feel really overwhelming to not have anything to call your own. So when I came back to the States, I you know, asked my partner if I could steal this little corner of the apartment and make it my own. I literally work in the living room, but because this little corner is uniquely to me and it's just me, not a combination of he and I, it's none of his furniture, it's all my own. It's really easy to separate like, okay, this is where I work. This is my little section and that's fine. And so I figured I'd like show you guys that. If you're new, I love toys. I love color. I love building things whenever I get a chance to. I love to organize. And this little corner of the apartment has really become a safe haven for me when I feel like I just need my own space. And it's, you know, it's a space that my partner very rarely uses and I love that for me and for him because he needs his own space too. So my desk itself is from Ikea entirely. It's just a kitchen countertop which I believe is the Colby, Car Carlby um, and the bottom is an Ikea trellis and the you know wonderful Alex drawers that everyone has. I totally stole this idea from Bike Review. I love his videos and I loved the setup. I had this sort of Ikea countertop style years ago when I first came back to the States, but I sold that desk thinking that I was going back to Japan and lo and behold, I'm back in America. I didn't think to do the trellis until I saw his setup. My last setup was to Alex drawers and it took up a lot of leg space. On the trellis, I have just keyboard switches, my old magic, my old my old magic keyboard and it also holds my macbook pro which for the most part i don't use it at home um only when i really don't feel like sitting at my computer or uh i take it with me on the go when i need to and then immediately behind that is a scatus pegboard system which i thought about making some cute little dioramas for i just haven't gotten around to it but for the most part it just is cable management i love it it's out of sight it's not on the ground it's convenient for my cute little setup i currently use a mac studio which is very exciting um, I switched over from a Mac Mini. I've got some footage of me unboxing it and it honestly is exactly what I need. So while a Mac Studio might be overkill for a lot of people, it really has been a life changer for me. I absolutely love it. My computer never slows down anymore. I feel like I can keep up with my workflow and have a million tabs open, as well as just have a million different softwares open because I do run back and forth between certain softwares depending on what I'm doing. 
So yes, a Mac Studio was just the right choice for me. I don't remember, oh my God. Sorry, if you can't tell, there's a lot of light coming in and that's because where we live, um, we face the backyard of our complex where there's a pool and everything. And I just saw a little kid get dirt thrown on him and dragged around by other kids and no adults are watching, but it seems like they're playing and they're fine. Okay. <laughs> But right next to that is my monitor, which a lot of my friends, when they walk in our apartment, the first thing they see is like TV, couch, Kenzie's desk, Kenzie's giant monitor. I use an ultra wide 41 inch LG monitor and it came with this like ergonomic stand and I went ultra wide and have not looked back. I went to Japan and bought this monitor thought to myself, oh my God, this is the best monitor ever. And then I left in four months. Okay, it was heartbreaking. I ended up selling it to a really good friend of mine for a pretty decent deal um, because it was basically brand new and I transported it for him um, on a train, which you really shouldn't do in Japan. Um, and his, his wife is one of my closest friends. And so I felt really good about selling it to them. I was so heartbroken having to sell that monitor the first time that I bought it again. Um, I love this monitor. I love having an ultra wide monitor. I definitely feel the constraints when I work in a coffee shop now because when I take my MacBook with me, I'm like, I need more space. Next, I have my audio setup. And please don't think I bought all of this at once. These were purchases made well over time, um, especially this one. So. I currently use the wonderful Shure SM7B. This was a dream microphone for me, absolutely. Fun fact, if you didn't know, I come from a music and audio background. Um, I went to college to be like an audio engineer, a live audio engineer. I hated it. I hated that side of the industry. <laughs> I much prefer just enjoying music and doing it for me, but I came out with a lot of useful knowledge including how to set up a little audio session section thing um, and also what a, makes a good microphone and what doesn't make a good microphone for certain situations. Did I need this microphone? Yes. Uh, <laughs> it is running through a cloud lifter um, on this pretty fancy boom pole um, which runs into a UR22C which also hosts my guitar. And then of course I've got my Nintendo Switch set up here. Yes, I'm in the living room. You can literally see the TV right there. But there are times when my partner and I both wanna play our own respective games on a bigger screen. And so one of us will use the TV and the other one will use my, my computer, which is the only time my partner ever really sits here. It just makes life easy. <laughs> And sometimes in the middle of the day when I don't want to get up and get out of work mode, um, I'll just switch the input and play some Switch for like 20 to 30 minutes and it's really convenient. So if you haven't seen my keyboard build video, I have an Ergo Dax. Um, it is just a plain and simple Ergo Dax. There's really nothing super crazy about it. It's a split keyboard that's staggered. I did find myself getting kind of really bad wrist pain and I have carpal tunnel from years and years and years of violin. And so I really wanted something that was a bit more staggered and more customizable because I like to customize everything about my space. It is currently using Weirdo DSA keycaps and marshmallow filmed and lube switches. I love it. I started to make a cable for it. I fucked it up. I haven't soldered in years, but I'll make one soon enough. Finally, the last part of my desk is probably the cutest part, all my decorations and toys. I have more posters like the Sailor Moon one that I wanna hang up, but one, we're gonna move soon, and two, I just haven't found enough frames for a lot of the prints that I have. So a lot of my prints are actually in storage, safe and sound. Um, but I definitely wanted this corner to feel like me. So I've got things such as my Yubaba poster, from um, the Ghibli exhibition, the Suzuki G Ghibli exhibition that I went to last year. I've also got different prints that I've collected over the years. This gritty poster with Gritty as the Devil Tarot card. Of course, there are lots of plants sprinkled around, a lot of Snoopy. Um, I actually found this cute Snoopy trinket tray in a secondhand bookstore when I went to New York last month. Following along the desk, 
Um, you'll also find just a variety of toys like this Rilla Kumanendo, this Katamari figure, which is my pride and joy. I will never get rid of it. I found it on eBay. If any of you ever want to get rid of your old Katamari things, let me know. I've also got like a variety of Totoro's, including these ones I made in high school that I just somehow still have. Um, you will find Smiskies all over our apartment, not just on my desk. This one specifically holds up mine, Mac Studio. And of course, plants, plants galore. I will try to link everything that I can find down below, or you can use this QR code um, to scan to just kind of shop where I shop. I honestly feel like there's not much else to say. This is where, oh, we cannot forget my son. Um, I have many of Rilakkuma, but this one, I bought him right before I left Japan the last time. He sits with me at my desk. I squeeze his ears when I'm anxious and when I'm busy or if I just need like something to, like a sensory need. Um, he has beans in his butt. And he lives in this chair for the most part. He doesn't really move. He kind of just hangs out and we love him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's all I really have to say. Um, it's a cute, small little corner of the apartment, but it's mine. I am very excited to move. Um, we are hopefully moving to New York by the end of the summer. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. <laughs> there will be more videos. There will be more videos, I promise. Um, <laughs> I've missed you guys. I love that some of you still reach out and ask questions about me and how I am and where videos are. I appreciate all of you. I love you. We're going to be okay. Give this video a like. If you liked it, subscribe, hit the bell, all those good things, and I'll see you soon. Bye!